if I didn't start YouTube, I wouldn't. I would have just been some open mic comic still, you know, because yeah. they don't need another white guy in Australia. They won't pick him to be on the, the telly because that's what you have to be here in this country. Is you have to be on a particular te- a television station for the Melbourne International Comedy Festival show, the gala or whatever they have. They televise it. And if you're not in a particular uh, management circle, you won't be picked. And you won't be picked in that management circle unless you're this colour, this sexual orientation, all this type of shit. So you have to pick them all. And I don't know yeah. if it's the same for you guys, but comics here um, are looked down upon if you are trying to pursue an online uh, career as well to push your, your brand or your person or your shows. Yeah, I, I, we, we've got a bit of that here. Whenever someone, like, you get some guys in the comedy world, there are guys in the comedy world who just got the old school thing, like the really old school, like, basic definition of do you make people laugh? Do you enjoy it? You're a comedian. Uh, which is fine, but then you get other guys who are kind of like gatekeepers. There's a lot of gatekeepers in comedy over here, and they go, Count Ankula is not a comedian. He's a YouTube comedian. There's a very big difference. And everything, and like, I've had like other comedians, like there was one guy, like when they did the BBC documentary on me, it was a guy called uh, Steve McLean. He looks like uh, Mr. Clean, but after years of meth. And uh, he he ended up having, he was a proper like left-wing screecher, like the type that to my face was like, you, you are a Nazi, like you yeah. are a white supremacist and everything. And uh, it turned out the real reason he had a bee in his bonnet was he's been in the game for about like 20 years and he's uh, never went anywhere. But on my first ever gig, I sold out Conway Hall. <laughs> and, I, I, and, I, and I said that to him and he pure went, he, at one point I, I kind of realised it and I knew it was a little button I could push to wind him up. That's never got included in the documentary because the yeah. BBC that I, came, I said that I came across as a real dick <laughs> because I was being a dick. <laughs> but uh, he went, well... I've I've never I've never made a video where I taught my pug to do racist things, and I went maybe you should have. You might actually sell some fucking tickets. That man and he fucking he just went fucking wow, he exploded, man, because that was that was his problem. And it's a case of I, I, people. I know that there's some guys that have tried their hardest for years, and I've managed to sell out some pretty big shows. And I've, I think the accusation that I get a lot is that I got to where I am without really trying. I did it like by accident. And Aberdeen. even though I don't do that many shows, I do maybe about two or three a year. And even I don't do like my main focus is YouTube. I'm kind of like Joe Rogan, where I do like eighty different things at once, apart from like the UFC commentating. But like, uh, yeah, like that. I think that's the problem that you're getting some guys in like who've tried for years, and then I I I will put my hands up and say I didn't get to where I am through hard work and perseverance, like. <laughs> I just got arrested over a meme <laughs> and then all of a sudden my name was everywhere. Like I'll put my hands up and say, okay, fair enough. But that doesn't mean that I just therefore shouldn't get booked into shows. Like shouldn't, you know, have any, you know, the chances that other people are given as well. But you get yeah. these people that just go, oh, don't put Kimmy's and Nazis and white supremacist. He wants to uh, put Muslims on trains and all that stuff. And it's just like, <clears throat> ah, it's just lying. That's the thing that annoys me the most. Like just people lying about you, calling you a Nazi and, white supremacist it's like all the time it's like they don't have anything else 